What is up everyone? My name is Mr. J and today I am bringing you another digit match. On the left I am playing Tyrant Kabuterimon and the right we have David and he is playing Magnamon. Here his, he um, starts off with the Vmon in the back and Davis reveals top 4, let him know it's just top 3. I'm going to Tyrant Kabu the Ko Kabuterimon in the back and then double agility training. Really interesting. Um, What do I think about this matchup? Obviously Tyrant Kabuterimon is a tower deck. But... Yeah, man, I don't know. I'm trying to max out on the green memory boost and on the agility trainings just because I, I don't know why this deck is so bricky. I know it's because it doesn't have as much draw power. Like you see here, David goes into Magnamon and he's going to draw two, one off the level three and one off the baby. So it's pretty good. And he's going to go straight into Magnamon X anti body for five, leaving me at four. Not bad, but now he does have a tower at 15k. It is possible to get my dp high enough over the 15k as long as i have the metal life and and or a is yuzumi but here it seems like i'm missing a piece probably missing it the level six or the level five and then play the pomumon to leave him at his three so he's gonna hatch vmon in the back now he can swing and activate the wind evolving effect again so he's gonna go ahead Play for three, get an armor. Uh, my bad, a level three. Swing Magnamon, draw two again. Hits a Stingmon, gets to reactivate. Now he's at 15k. Swing again, most likely. Maybe thinking not to. Swing, draw one more card. The level five in security, and then go into Magnamon to have an extra blocker on board, which is not bad. I'm gonna promote. He is at 15, so I'm going to Digivolve into Metal Life for 1. And pop the Agility Training. I see I have the Grand Kawagamon. I'm thinking about maybe going into Grand Kawagamon first. Yeah, there you go for 1. I also spend down the Magnamon and the Davis, delete the Davis. Now, I think I do make a major misplay here coming up real soon. Because you see that Pomomon's on board, and I'm thinking about going into Tyrant, Kabut Tyrant Kabuterimon. So, Electro Shocker. The Super Shocker, my bad. Electro Shocker in English. And then go into Tyrant. I could have just swung over, to be honest, Magnamon X. Like, I, I should have had enough DP. But I'm going to try to play out the Digimon. And uh, David reminds me that Pomomon is... Both players cannot. So he's going to purge here. And I do not get to bottom deck anything, unfortunately. Because I didn't get to play anything out. That, like I said, a major misplay on my part. That was very unfortunate to see. Yeah, but like I went into this tournament, like I wanted to try Tyrant Kabuterimon, like I solitaired a bit. Didn't really play against Magna on X antibody, so this is actually the first time I'm playing against Magna X. Um, what do I think about the deck so far? Like this one in Rapidmon X, man, come on. Like they're if to play the decks, you need a play set of, of both of the secret rares that's gonna run you about 200. Who am I kidding? 240 to like 300 plus to play these decks just for the secret rares right so it's like it's crazy here he's gonna strip the grand kuwaga and then he's gonna gain four memory off that he's gonna bounce the pomomon back to hand and yeah so like i've been tinkering around with the deck and yeah david's playing with money right now that's all i can say tyrant kabuterimon is actually relatively cheap as long as you picked up the tentomons this deck shouldn't cost you more than like 50 bucks right beforehand so this, this one's super cheap, and I do like it. I think it's like tier 1.5, maybe tier 2. Um, it is kind of slow, but it's very controlly. So if you like controlly decks, big bugs, very controlly. Kind of reminds you of like the old green, in a way. He's going to swing with the Magnamon. I'm going to redirect it. He's going to replay his Digimon. 
Yeah, I have a few thoughts on the game now in BT16 because I know everyone was very excited. There's a lot of excitement along with the new cards. But yeah, man, Magna X and Rapidmon are both a problem. I think it's just because, you know, they're, they're both secret rares. They're both insane cards. Here's going to go into BT8 Magna, BT8 Magna Unsuspend, swing one more time. I only had one, redir uh, one redirect. I think at this time I was only playing two Izzy, and I quickly brought it up to three Izzy after this. Because in this matchup, it is worth it, right? You are yourself a tower deck. Um, you're unaffected by Digimon card effects while you're suspended. Very unlike Magnemon X Antibody, which is just not unaffected by anything whatsoever. Right? And he could proc his own effects using the Blinding Ray effect, the card. But I, I should just go to game two right now, because I don't think there's any way I could get rid of this board. I mean... If he doesn't... Digivolve over the Vmon, okay. So, strip one more source. I could swing over the Vmon. He could block it. Then bottom deck the Magnemon. But I would need one more blocker. Yeah, that Pomumon really messed me up, that game one. Um, so I cut down Pomumon to two copies, because I used to have I did have them at three copies at the time of this recording. And I'm just gonna scoop it up. We're gonna go to game two. <laughs> game two, I do decide to do go first because I'm just naturally slower. Like there's no draw power in this deck. That's the bad problem. And I do not open a rookie, which is like I said. For some reason, like this deck, even though I'm maxing out on the green memory boosts and the trainings. Well, it's four green memory boosts, two trainings, and I've, I've been switching around the ratios with like four trainings, two green memory boosts. But I just like... Um, I just... I like the searching four cards deep into your deck, you know? Especially, you just saw like a brick crazy. I played out the Kabuteri mine. I was like hoping, hoping he doesn't have an answer. And obviously he does have the Magnemon from the starter deck, so he just plays that out, gains memory for free pretty much. And I'm I don't know if I mentioned it before, but like the Grand Quagamon, it's nice, the Lee Tamers, but it's the overflow is is just too much. The liability is just it's too great. Right? Because they have a lot of ways to bounce back. Most decks have a lot of a lot of ways to bounce back, and it's just like giving them free memory. So right now, again, I bricked and very unfortunate for game two because you didn't really get to see how Tyrant Kabuteri Mon really operates because I messed myself up with the Pomomon game one and then game two I bricked. But yeah, but if you guys have any suggestions, like I've tried four Mega Kabuteri Mon Ace and I still think that's too much because sometimes they'll just strip it out using Davis and Ken or using Magnemon if your thing's unsuspended. And nah, bro, like it's just not worth it giving them three memory, giving them four memory. So I'm trying to cut down on the aces entirely. I really like Hercules Kabuterimon as a card. So I think I'm going to put that one to either three copies or four copies because it's just so good to control the board. Plus, it's unaffected by um, Digimon card effects while it's suspended as well. He's going to use Blinding Ray again to trigger his Magnemon, and then he's going to go into Final Zubagan Punch. So he's going to swing for two checks, unsuspend, draw two, and then unsuspend, swing again. I like to keep the option card there to remind him. I'm going to suspend on the Magnemon with the Super Shocker. Cold Cobble Terrymon in the back. Hidden Potential Discovered. Go into Tyrant Cobble Terrymon here. Tyrant Cobble Terrymon play out. Yeah, he has double Magna X on the field. There's no way I'm getting through this. Like, <laughs> unless, I, unless I got an Izzy in the back. And even then, it, it, he has four swings potentially on board. So you see, there's no way I can redirect. I can see it now. I have the Grand Kawagamon, but it ain't going to do trash. Like, it's not going to do anything. 
Grand Kawagama's not gonna do anything because I'm pretty sure both of his Magnemons are un unaffected by card effects. So I'm just gonna scoop it up and first time pl playing versus Magnemon X and somebody and I get O2, 2 0 right? Yeah, um, and yeah, that was I got the buy round two, round three versus Imperial, and that one's actually I was so I was itching to play Imperial guys because like I bought the cards, I had to wait for them to come in. But yeah, I've been trying to make Tyrant Kabuterimon work. I I took it a second time to local, so we there's more matches with Tyrant Kabuterimon. I love the deck. It's like super simple, to be honest. Like I think newer players would really gravitate towards Tyrant Kabuterimon, and it's also complicated enough that you could enjoy it as a seasoned player as a veteran player but let me know what you think about magnamon x rapid mon x like bt16 in general i i am excited for the other cards in the set like i i really like everything except birds to be honest but i just hope it doesn't turn into like a tier zero format where it's just magnamon x running around or like the bunnies running around it's just those two decks at the top but i'm sure like mirage is a good counter to like bouncing and so is the numemon x so i'm actually thinking about making numemon this format just because technically it's the underdog it's the anti-meta deck for the format but let me know what you guys think about bt16 if you like the video hit that like button subscribe if you're not already subscribed my name is mr j thank you all for watching and i will see you all next time